Uh, hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the law offices of Tim Forge with Tim. Hey buddy, good to see you again. How you doing, Tim? Good. Tim, we're gonna follow up today on our traffic stop um, you know, conversation we had some weeks ago. Okay. I had one of our loyal viewers have objections about you calling cups grumpy. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna follow up on it because I'm just gonna give you an example. A few weeks ago, a local cop from my jurisdiction was assisting a person in, with a broken car on one of our local loops. And he gets out of his car, he's about to approach the vehicle, and he was in an unmarked police car, but with the lights in the back and the mm -hmm. whole thing, right? And he had his radar on. Someone passed him less than 10 feet where he was standing. He didn't even switch lanes at 110 miles an oh, hour. Oh, boy. Wow. So he promptly got on the radio, called my buddy, who made the stop, you know. So was he grumpy? Yeah, he probably <laughs> wasn't in his I best wager, mood. yeah. That because he had to chase this guy in his patrol car in a loop doing high rates of speed. And so let's continue talking about why are some officers might come off as grumpy, not because they are, but might come off as grumpy. Yeah, I don't want to be an apologist. I don't remember what exactly I said if, if I offended one of our viewers who's a cop. But first of all, if there's any viewers that are cops, thank you so much for your service or for my family's safety. Uh, uh, I, I'm almost sure I didn't say anything derogatory about cops because I've been an auxiliary cop for almost 15 years now. I'm with the Arizona Rangers now, and I go on details all the time. I go on uh, DOI task forces, and I, I, you know, I've, I've arrested people and and, uh, and cuffed them and read them their rights and, and transported them to jail on multiple occasions. So if I disparage police officers, I, I believe that was inadvertent because I think cops are, as, as a general rule, some of the best people out there. Uh, uh, are there are there complete jerk lawyers who ruin people's lives? Of course. Uh, complete jerk cops who ruin people's lives? I'm sure there are. How about barbers or plumbers? Of course. There's bad people all over the world, but there's good people all over the world as well. Let's not lose sight of that fact. I think what I was probably getting at when we talked about that before, Emil, is, is that um, a lot of people don't realize how frightening and scary it can be to be a police officer, to be in the situations that they have to find themselves in multiple times per day. And I don't think a lot of people appreciate how dangerous traffic stops are. Uh, I believe the statistics uh, reveal that about 20% of police fatalities uh, stem from a routine traffic stop. You don't know who you're stopping. You don't know who's in that car, what's in that car, what's going on. Uh, until you complete your wants and warrants check on everybody's driver's licenses, you don't know what you're getting into. And so I think a normal police officer walking up to a normal traffic stop has a great deal of trepidation. I don't want to say that they're frightened. I think that puts my emotions into their head. I will tell you that the times I've done it, I was frightened. I don't know who's behind that window when I knock on that window. When that window rolls down, do I know if I'm looking at a shotgun barrel or a really frightened 12-year-old kid? I don't know what's going on. And so what I was basically getting at is that I think a lot of people don't appreciate that when you are nervous or scared or, or uh, uh, intimidated by something, a lot of times our temper threshold increases. In other words, we're more likely to lose that temper. We're more likely to, to, to maybe be a little curt with people. And so I, I always tell people this. Uh, maybe you've experienced this like I have. The majority of the traffic stops that I've been involved in, which I think going back to 94, I've kept track, was 10. And knock on wood, no tickets. So thank goodness. Uh, but uh, I, I always notice that the police officer seems a bit short, a bit brusque, perhaps a bit grumpy at the beginning of the traffic stop. And then four to six minutes later, when they come back up and they return my license and registration after they've completed their once and warrants check, now they're totally a different person. They're chatty and they're nice and they ask me questions and they have a good day. Um, they, their personality has, has changed, maybe not dramatically, but perceivably, perceptibly. And I think that's because they know they're no longer in danger, that this is not, that we've, we've verified that this is actually a good guy in the car. And so they're able to let down that guard and be a little bit more human. Um, and that's all I was trying to get at, was for folks to understand that if the police officer comes across as brusque at the beginning of the traffic stop, understand why they are. It's a very natural and probably appropriate cautious reaction for human beings. So uh, again, if any of the viewers took that to be me, uh, you know, denigrating police officers, please accept my apology because that certainly was not the case at all. So Thanks for the information, Tim. And I know I've been stopped before. Um, and yeah, the first time they, they, the first approach is sort of cautious. Yeah. Because there's so been so many uh, traffic stops and domestics are the two most Correct. Dangerous situations for law enforcement officers. And, you know, God bless them all. Yeah, amen. Well, thanks, Tim. Thanks for your help. Absolutely. And thanks for your great advice. And like always, guys, please 
like this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel so we may continue to bring you content like this. And like always, please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.